All right. Um, I got the bridge all assembled, uh, set up in a primer. Uh, that's going to take a little while to dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and seal up all the seams and everything. Uh, mostly I just got it assembled. Um, the two little beacons on top I'm just going to paint uh, red because um, they were molded in a red plastic but I'm just going to paint them. Um, yeah and that's about it uh, for right now. Um, just thought I'd kind of throw this up and you can check it out how it looks as is for now. Thought I'd talk about this. Um, scored this is a uh, floral wire which uh, I thought was pretty cool it's I don't know what I don't think it's brass or it might be brass um, doesn't say but it's definitely uh, uh, you know flexible bendable and that kind of thing so um, I'm not exactly sure what the material is. Maybe like a white metal. Um, it came in different colors. Uh, the color to me didn't matter so much because, you know, basically I'm going to use it in uh, setting up some kind of pipes and things like this and that. Gluing this down onto a model, and then it'll you know it'll be primed. So uh, it's not the color you know that, that won't really matter. But it's very flexible, very bendable. Um, if you recall, I had the uh, land speeder. Um, and I'm thinking I might use this on the, on this because I want to go back and uh, alter this model a bit, um, maybe repaint and uh, just change a few things. And I'm thinking I can use this in here for some piping, some extra piping, um, and such in there. Um, although now that I'm looking at it, it is a little large, so I might just go with regular wire. Uh, but, you know, it's perfect for those type of situations. It was a dollar at the dollar store, and it's floral wire, I guess, for tying your, your flowers together. That's not what I'll be doing with it, but that's what it's for. <laughs> um, I didn't get back to this land speeder. Um... But I'd like to. Um, if nothing else, I'd like to just paint the inside of this black. Would be a, a great improvement. Um, and I thought of uh, maybe hollowing out some areas in here uh, just to give it some more depth and maybe putting something behind it so it was like had a kind of a more three-dimensional kind of feel to it. Adding some wire, some maybe frayed wire, uh, I don't know, depending on how uh, involved I want to get with it. But definitely painting the inside, the interior black would be a, a major improvement. It doesn't look bad, but uh, it would definitely be a major improvement. So that's something I could mess with. Um, and, you know, using this would be pretty cool um, if I could use it correctly. Uh, we'll see about that on that. Maybe not, but we'll see. Um, but I thought that was kind of a cool score for a buck. Uh, some pretty good stuff there. It's very, I don't know what the word would, you know. Malle malleable? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but it bends pretty easy. So, I saw uh, 
Fat Grendel's uh, doing some piping work on his Millennium Falcon, and I actually own that same kit, so maybe this will come in useful on that um, when I get to it. Uh, so that's about it. Um, I picked up some more primer, as you can see, because I, I actually got the prime my uh, assembled bridge. So I'm gonna let that dry. Uh, hit that with some sand, uh, sandpaper and stuff and get that all worked up. Uh, I think the next real step is, you know, obviously assemble, assembly on uh, this piece and but beyond that is paint. Uh, I really want to uh, tackle some paint. Uh, I don't... I haven't really chosen any colors yet. I have paint. Uh, I'll be going through and choosing um, a color uh, I could take a quick look at what we got I got some greens and stuff in here but I think in here I actually have some other paints that are more what I'm going to be looking for uh, that's a gray This is dark green. Might even have to mix a color. This is green drab. It's a little too military. But uh, we'll see. I have these Tamiya paints as well. Um, but no green, just gray, black, and white. Unfortunately. I bought these up when the hobby store was closing. Um, it's all drab. Very military gray, gray, black, metallic, black, more drab. So I'll be going through these and seeing what I got. Looks like I got a medium green. This might be more my guy right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that color there. But it's kind of a greenish. That might be good. We got a medium green. I don't know what the uh, official colors should be or anything like that. But I got a medium field green. Shake that one up. Take a look at that. Uh, if I can catch it in the light. Uh, I don't think you could see that. But that's a medium field green. That's a pretty good green, too. I might have to do a little mix and match to get something kind of close. Uh, I need a green and a gray. Uh, and I definitely got a bunch of grays. Got some silver. So I'll be picking out a few colors and that's definitely what I want to tackle next. I'll be using my airbrush with that to get these colors down. Um, use my airbrush on the plane, uh, if you recall. Um, used uh, that for like the uh, fading effect and I want to use it again on this. Uh, it was very effective and I think it will do well. So, we'll be doing that. Um, basically because I don't want to spray out of a can uh, because well, I think I'll get a better color if I use some of my paints there. Uh, so that's definitely something I'll be tackling next. I'm going to be laying down some of the main color, uh, doing some taping off, doing the top, uh, again taping off and doing the side pieces. Uh, these areas up here need a little bit of paint, and, and that's about it. So that's going to be coming up next um, after I get the bridge all squared away but I also can work on the paint in the meantime. Um, 
But that's about it. Um, for now. Uh, yeah. So check back and we'll see where we're at.